Hey, Mama. Come on inside. It's cold out here. I was out in the barn when you called. Otherwise, I'd have cleaned this place up a little bit. No, it's, uh, it's perfect. No, it's not. <laughs> but it's home. I did get a big screen TV. Fella down there tried to sell me one of those 3D ones, but then he told me about those glasses you gotta wear, and I said to hell with that. But everything's pretty much the way you left it. Of course, here's your mama. Go see your room. I didn't know how you'd feel about me coming here. You're my baby girl. This will always be your home. You hungry? Uh, just as well. I didn't have much anyhow. I'll let you get settled in. Holler at me if you need anything. I came to New York to be a singer. But I ended up falling in love. His name is Luke. And he's my husband. Is everything okay? Oh yeah, it's just Jake being Jake. Hmm. It's all good.
Securities and Exchange Commission announced a flurry of arrests stemming from a series of alleged frauds involving the Mikov Brothers investment firm. How did this happen? Listen, I didn't do what they're accusing me of. But I did know what was going on. The charges shook Wall Street to the core as nearly $14 billion invested with Mikov are unaccounted for. Among the arrests is Luke Caraday, the youngest son of Manhattan real estate mogul Austin Caraday. Dad just called. Warrants have been issued. They're coming. Today. What am I going to tell Faith? It's too late now. Mr. Caraday was charged with seven counts of securities fraud and conspiracy to defraud, and is currently in federal custody. A federal judge today upheld the freezing of all of Luke Caraday's assets. Caraday and his wife Faith have held a high profile in Manhattan's elite circles in recent years. Then why didn't you tell me? Because you would be in here too. The accounts are frozen, Luke. I don't... I don't have any money. I don't know where to go. Go home. Where? Carolina. I want you to go. You, you can't be running around the streets. There's nothing else for you to do. Go home. If you're not gonna go for you, please, just go for me. Where's Lady? Lady died a couple of winters ago. Old Silver out there has been hanging tough, though. Livy and I always said he was the son you never had. Huh. <laughs> that apple sure didn't fall far from the tree. You're not going to ask me why I'm back? We don't have to talk about anything. Ever. If you don't want to. You know, I don't... I don't know who I feel more sorry for. Silver without Lady or you without Mama. You say hi to her yet? I stopped. Good. It's good. I think you spent half your high school years brushing that horse. <laughs> Someone had to know all my secrets. How long has it been? I know it was Christmas, but I can't Four. remember. Four. Well, then. Four years. Whew. Who's that? Probably your sister. Olivia? Hey, Daddy. You got another one? Hey, honey. Listen, I just wanted to bring you this casserole. Now, I want you to eat it this time. Take it, Daddy. Well, look who's here. Hey, Olivia. Olivia brought me a casserole. I won't eat it, but it's sweet of her to bring it. You need to eat it. He never eats his vegetables. I never eat them in a casserole. So, is Luke here? Why don't we go inside? We can catch up. No, no. I've got a women's meeting at the church, and Hardy's got his mind made up to jam with his band. So. Oh, well. Then why don't we come over later? Okay. It's so 
good to see you. It's good to see you too. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. She's your sister and we'll go on. Okay. She hates me. She does not. When I was 14, she put hair remover in my shampoo bottle. Yeah, but only a little bit of it fell out. Even that came right back in. See? You always defend her. Yeah, I do. What do you think I say to her about you? Kind of a father's role in life. Be that yellow flag at the racetrack. Keep on racing, but no passing, no trading paint. Wouldn't hurt to make a pit stop and refuel. Is there anything that you can't explain with the car racing analogy? I haven't found it yet. Now listen, this is the first time I've had both my girls under the same roof for some time, so if you can't get along for her sake, do it for mine, all right? That's my girl. Watch yourself in there. Good shooting, Jack. Got me oh, right in the leg. Oh, Jack, don't Come listen here. to your grandpa. You know you're not supposed to be shooting people. Come on. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. Oh, it's good to have you back. <laughs> hey, Livy, your daddy and sister's here. Livy told me you were back. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. It's really good to see you, Faye. It's good to see you, too. <laughs> and is this baby Maddie? Yeah. You're so pretty. Can I hold her? I don't know. Gooey, yeah, baby. Yeah, give yeah, me, give yeah. me, give me, give me. <gasps> Hi. You say hey to your Aunt Faith? Hey. Are you still playing in the band? A little bit. What about you? Are you still singing? Hey. Sorry, I was just helping Victoria with her dance costume. You want to come on in? I'll get you a drink or something. You sure it's a good time? It's always like this. Oh, uh, hey, a little bit of a problem. Oh, I'm hey. Sorry. Oh, oh okay. honestly, really? Hardy. Sorry. <laughs> honestly, Daddy. What are you on me for? When was the last time you changed her? Are you supposed to change her? Well, at least as often as the oil in your truck. Where'd that boy go? Jack! I told him to go shoot a rooster. We'll have it for dinner. Hey, Jack! You are so much better than me at this. Oh, I am so I am really sorry about your sweater. Don't be. She's a precious little baby. Gosh. How do you do all this? This is just life. <laughs> and you're so thin after three kids. <laughs> you try chasing around three kids every day. It beats Pilates, liposuction, spin class. <laughs> well, maybe not liposuction. <laughs> liposuction. <laughs> Victoria, you are so grown up. And you know what? You are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You look just like your mama. Okay, let's go play. I'm coming to you.
You ready for this? Today is the day. You were meant to stand on your own. You don't have to be a Caraday anymore. You can just be Luke. Come on. So, what did you want to tell me? I'm leaving the Caraday company. I knew it. I knew it! I took a job with Mikov Brothers down the street. Mikov? You might as well join the mafia. Their earnings exceeded ours by 7.5% last year, six and a quarter the year before that. That's because we're not crooks, that's why. How much is the buy-in? I'm sorry? How much is the buy-in? 71 million. And where do you plan on getting the money? My inheritance. This is not about faith. Yes, it is about no, faith. No, it's not, Jake. Come on, Dan. Do something. You should have one of these. Trust me, it helps. That's it right there. Suit yourself. That's why I want to leave. Jake was right about you. I have to admit I wasn't, but he called it. Called what? That you were the one. That you were going to split this family right down the middle. Candice, let's go. Congratulations. He's all yours now. I fell asleep. Daddy? Hmm. When did the music stop for you? Was it before or after she died? It never stopped, sweetheart. I still hear it. Every day. Good night, Daddy. Good night, baby. Church tomorrow, don't forget. Skin. More of an alligator fan myself. Lee? Oh my gosh. <laughs>
How are you? I'm good. I think the last time I saw you, you were ignoring my Facebook friend request. Stop it. I mm -hmm. did not do that. Not accepting is ignoring. It's okay. I'm stalking you on Twitter. <laughs> uh, so, wh uh, what have you been up to? Uh, well, I am a doctor now in the ER in Whiteville. <laughs> You're kidding. No. You think it's funny? Uh, that the guy who used to burn ants in this parking lot with a magnifying glass at Vacation Bible School is uh, now the only thing between me and death? Hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little disconcerting. <laughs> how's, uh, how's Luke? I've been reading about it on the internet. People. Dr. Lee, hey. how you doing? Good, good to good see, to you. see you. Good to see you. Just like your mama. Oh. I'd swear she was standing here right now if I didn't know better. Hi there, Miss Asime. How are you doing, darling? Wonderful. You come see me now. You will. Welcome home. <laughs> oh, what a lovely woman. She sure is. I hate to see her so sick. I don't know how much longer we'll have her. Oh, come on, Faith. We don't just live in a time capsule while you're living it up in New York. Listen, I know we need to talk. Do we? You're my sister, Olivia. You deserve to know what's going on. Coming over later. We'll talk then. What was that all about? Sister stuff. Hmm. What's this? Oh, they were at the altar. In memory of your mother. Did you put them there? Every year. This is the anniversary of the accident. Yeah. Love never forgets. Now, we don't want to scare the fish, so we're going to lay it out there nice and easy. Just like that. There you go. I grew up, I want to marry you, Daddy. <laughs> you can't do that, honey. Mom already beat you to it. But I tell you what, when you do grow up and you get married, you and I are going to get to dance together. Just the two of us. It's like a prince and a princess. What do you think of that? That sounds nice. Yeah, it does. I like fishing. Well, I like fishing with you. Come here, give me a hug. Mm-mm-mm. Hey. You going fishing? No, no, I can't get this fly on my line, I'm not. When was the last time we went? I'm thinking it was at some time when you had more freckles than teeth. Luke's in jail. I know that. And I think he is going to stay there for a long, long time. What if this marriage was just a huge mistake? Why'd you marry him? Because I loved him. Well, then what are you doing here? Go back to him. <laughs> it's not that simple. Is it not? <laughs> not everybody has what you and Mom had. No. It's just, I've tried to make it work. I have. I've tried and... Honey, sometimes it's not how hard you try. It's what you're trying. I have no idea what that means. Well, then maybe you ought to stay around here a little longer after all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Libby just started her turn as choir director. I, t I told her I'd sing. <laughs> I'm sorry, you? Yes. <laughs> I just um, thought maybe you'd want to join me. Think about it. These days, my singing is better than my fishing. <laughs> you think none of these fools didn't know who you are? 
I do. Yeah, keep looking forward, pretty boy. You just be thinking about what you're gonna do to keep my mouth shut. All right, let's see. Come on, separate, separate. Take this guy. Go sit him down. You, come here. Go sit that guy down. You sit here. Absolutely no touching, please. Okay. Dad. Son. Are they treating you well? Fine. Good. Dad. You just can't stand seeing you like this. This is my problem. You shouldn't even be here. No. No, you are my son. No matter what, you are my son. And your problems will always be my problems. Dad. No, I'm not finished. When you took your inheritance, I took that as your desire to leave our family altogether. No, I'm no, not. Luke, listen to me. I now know that your inheritance wasn't money. It's the Caraday blood running in your veins because you are my son! All right. Uh, your bail has been posted. What? You're coming home with me. We're gonna fix this mess as a family. Guard. Okay, all right, let's stop. Faith, you're not singing. You know what? Someone to watch over me. It's Mama's favorite song. Think of Mama. There's somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that... Honey, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can do it. Turns out to be someone to watch over me. I'm going to sing just like you when I grow up. Faith? It's easier. What does? You know, being back here. What are you doing here? Fixing a leaky pipe. Pastor Jeff asked me to come by, so got off work and here I am. A doctor and a plumber? Mm-hmm. Pipes are pipes. Good thing about these ones, they don't uh, talk back and don't sue you. Did you live in New York? Oh. Medical school. You went to medical school in New York, but then you came back to be an ER doctor here? Yeah. It's a long story. But uh, second year, and they sent me down to Peru to help some doctors give an aid. And uh, no, I originally thought that I'd be a doctor, get rich. You know, doctors are rich guys. But went down there, and uh, down there is about, it's about medicine. It's about, you know, helping people in need. You don't hear people talking like that in New York. No, you don't? You, uh, you'll be here for a while? 
Honestly, I have no idea. That's cool. It does get easier. I promise. Thanks. I'll, uh... Be around. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to propose a toast, if I may. To my son, Luke. No matter what lies ahead, know that we will always stand by you and love you forever. Welcome home, son. Welcome home. Welcome home. I'm honored. Going to bed? I think so. Thank you. Uh, for the dinner. Uh huh. I heard that Yates got the courts to unfreeze your accounts. That's, that's excellent news. Well, he got me enough to cover the apartment. And this um, immunity thing. Is Yates? Is he working on that? They're talking. The feds have a care day on the hook. I don't think they want to see me wriggle off. Oh, you're not going back to prison. You can take my word on that. Good night. Luke. This may be a little bit awkward, and it's probably none of my business. Have you talked to Faith? No. It's not much to say. Why don't you try? I'm sorry. I wish it were that simple. Yeah, there's only one thing harder than forgiveness in this life. That's asking for it. Good night. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Faith! Hey. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. What were you up to last night? Oh, not much. Watching Dancing with the Stars, America's Top Model, the usual. <laughs> Hush. What you doing? I was about to give somebody a good bath because he was a white horse once upon a time. Yeah. Oh, wait, what time is it? Just after nine? Shoot. She'll already be gone. Who? Livy, I was gonna have her pick up some groceries while she was in town. Well, where are you going? Well, I gotta call her before she leaves. Do not go in that house. What? I'll go. No, you don't know where anything is. You stay here and relax and enjoy yourself. Daddy, I'll... I'm going to the store. Now, if you want to make yourself useful, take Silver back out and I'll wash him when I get home. You do realize I've had both a mama and a wife and they're both dead. That's nothing to a daughter. Feel you heal these scars some 
Are y'all here together? Uh, Livy's here? Yeah, I saw her not but two minutes ago. I know you are so happy to have your husband out of jail. I can't imagine having my Jeremy locked up like that. God knows what they did to him in there. Hmm. Lord have mercy. I mean, it's just an awful thing to think about. Where did you hear that? I heard it on the news. Or the internet. Uh, I guess you don't anything on TV at your daddy's, but sports talk and car racing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you're pregnant? Yes. Number three. Coming whether we like it or not. <laughs> you don't have any children, do you? It is so good to see you, Heather. Good luck with your baby. Oh, thank you. You too. And I just want you to know that I really hope everything works out between you and your husband. Divorce is an ugly thing. It is. It is. Have a nice day. Take care now. Come on, you guys. Mommy's gonna go home now. That was one of her friends. Awesome. Thanks, Pumpkin. Okay. Come on, buddy. Awesome. Mustard? Livy. Faith, what are you doing here? Daddy needed some things. I'm shopping for Daddy. Are you getting a divorce? No, sweetie. Aunt Faith is not getting a divorce. Nice. She didn't hear it from me. Oh. Well, then she's the only one in Columbus County who didn't. Mom, Bye. can we get this? Sweetie, those are pure sugar. They'll rot your teeth and make you obese. But it's fat free. Maybe just this once. Oh, yes. So that's how it is. <laughs> sure, I'll see you later. Oh. Daddy doesn't like those. He likes salted. Well, those aren't good for him. Hello. Hello. It's now seven tenths of a second. So the last two laps, Brockhauser has lengthened the lead. Seven eighths of a mile to go. He picked up his first career win back here in May. been quite a night. Hope you remember her name. <laughs> Actually, I remember both their names. First was Agnes. She's 89. Heart attack. Second one was Bella. She was six. Car accident.
point of the prodigal isn't that he ran away. The truth is we all run at one point or another. In fact, the prodigal story isn't so much about the prodigal as it is about our father who's waiting for us with his arms wide open, with our past forgiven. You see, we're all prodigals. We're all runners. The real question is, how are we going to treat the prodigals that come to us? I remember a time you come to my doorstep Slip through the window, we run away. Running through the streets, down all of the alley. We try anything just to feel afraid. He held my hand, if I ever try to cover my eyes. Suddenly, I had nothing to fear. With you, oh, with you, with you. Mm. It was electric between us. Olivia wants us to come over tonight for supper. Great. I'll make dessert. What? Nothing. No, what? You're gonna make dessert. I didn't even know you could cook. <laughs> what does that mean? No, nothing. It just means I'm I'm surprised. That's all. That's all that means. <laughs> Listen, I tell you what, um, why don't we go home? We'll saddle up old Silver and you can take him for a ride. Just like the old days. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay. Dessert. <laughs> You're such a sweet boy. This was so good. You know, you can give me the reins. Old habits die hard. I still feel like a, that little girl that I used to lead around on the back of this old horse is gonna come walking back up that road one day. <laughs> yeah. She's still here, Daddy. You ever gonna call him? Who? Luke knows where I am. If he wants to find me, he can. Well, that's fine, as long as you're okay with the idea that he might not. You know, Luke and I are great at the fairy tale. It's a real life part that we have trouble with. Well, I think that's probably true for everybody, you know. I asked him about that job a hundred times. Where was all this money coming from when it seemed like everyone else we knew was cutting back? And all he could say was, we're just looking in the right places or we're smarter. I even asked him point blank about a Ponzi scheme. He looked me right in the eye and denied it. So is it over? How do you look past all this? Well, I imagine you said something to him about for better or for worse. Of course, I wouldn't know because I wasn't there. I'm so sorry. No, no. You don't have to be sorry with me, baby. I just want you to be proud of who you are. I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. All right, enough of that. Somebody wants to go for a ride. You think he's up for it? Ah, I think Silver's never <laughs> been better. Silver. Yeah. He's a go. good boy. He's a good boy. All right, come on. Come on, baby, come on.
got? 16 year old man nuance that sees your blood pressure and pulse are through the roof. Oh, Do you know him? Yeah. Get the CT guys ready upstairs. Calvin? Excuse my finger. Looks like you're gonna go two for two. I don't think so. Listen, get him sedated. I need that CAT scan right away. Get some rest. Calvin's test results are showing a high-grade astrocytoma. It's a malignant form of brain cancer. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm just an ER doctor. We're going to need to verify this with a neurosurgeon, but it's pretty textbook. His CT scans here show his tumor in this discolored area in the jet. All right, that's it. I get it. No. I'd like to refer him to a neurosurgeon. His insurance referral is to a Dr. Whalen in Wilmington. We'll get him in tomorrow, and as for tonight, he's okay to go home. I gave him some medication, should take care of his seizures. Can we see him? Yeah. He's, uh, he's in room 307. I did my residency with a guy named Dr. Gordon. He's the best in treating stage four tumors. That's great. Can you get us in to see him? I don't say no. You have to have some pretty serious weight to get him in there. You have to be Austin Caraway's daughter-in-law. Lee, Luke and I haven't spoken since I left. I... I don't know what to tell you. All I know is that for my dad in there, I call whoever I could to get him in. My number's on the back of So, tell us the good news. They're willing to give you a plea deal. No prison, not one day served, just five years probation, some community service, and he loses his brokerage license. Absolutely not. We need full immunity. Full. No admission of guilt of any kind. That is going to be very hard. Yeah. We don't pay you to do things that are easy. Let me see the document, Commander. This is a good deal, Jake. Doesn't sound like it. Excuse me. Is he serious? You don't ever worry about him, right? You worry about us. It's a good deal. He's not gonna do any prison time. That's what's most important. He's asleep now. I put his prescriptions on the kitchen counter. He still needs to take his cholesterol medicine and he may forget though, so you need to remind him to take it every morning. Okay. I'll come by in the morning to check on the both of you and make sure everything's okay. I'm gonna have to take him to New York. Why? Because if he doesn't see the best surgeon in the country, he's gonna die. I talked to Lee. We can't afford that. No. But Luke can. I called him today. Oh my God. What did he say? Oh, you know, that he'd do anything for me, and that he loves me, that he wants me back. You know, all the usual stuff. <laughs> I can't remember the last time Hardy said those things to me. Oh, come on, Hardy loves you. Well, of course he does, but he doesn't say it. Did he lie to you every day for years? If you expect to spend a lifetime with a man and he never lied to you, 
then you need to change your name to Cinderella and go ahead and move into a fairy tale, because that ain't gonna happen. I thought you hated Luke. All that matters is that I love you. I'm so sorry that I left you here with all of this. Don't be. Well, that's enough of that. Can't get along too well. What's the fun in that? <laughs> I can't get a good look when you're looking at the TV. Come on, Daddy, help him out. Doctors don't make house calls. Not usually. And exactly what is it you're calling on here? Listen, I'm just trying to do the right thing. Uh-huh. And what is the right thing? If I wasn't doing the right thing, I wouldn't be sending you to New York, now would I? She is on thin ice. Be careful. I'm a good guy here. Thanks for putting up with Daddy. <laughs> I know he's not the easiest of patients. Yeah, he hates me. Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That's um, it's just how he is. He never told you, did he? What? Uh. When your mother died, I was the EMT with her. I was working the ambulance while I went to the community college and I was with her. I think he blamed me for that. No, no, he wouldn't do that. No, it's okay, I feel the same way. Did she, um, did she say anything? Yeah. Hey, yo, son. No, no, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Full fluids. I never knew what that meant. I do. Yeah, I figured you would. Okay. It's time for me to go. Um, thanks for everything you've done for us. Yeah, my pleasure. All right. Uh, hey, let me know if your husband gets you in to see Dr. Gordon. I still know some doctors back there. It might help. It might not. No, anything helps, so thank you. Okay. Hi, this is Luke Caraday calling for Dr. Gordon. Luke Caraday. This is a rather urgent matter. Dr. Gordon and I are members of the... I see. Do you know he might be back in? Like I mentioned, this is urgent, and I'd really appreciate it if... Just tell him I... Why can't we just take the truck? I don't want to go up there in this Yankee car. Yes, I have a garage for this car, and your truck won't fit in it. Well, at least let me drive it then. No, no Daddy. All right, then, let's just get this over with. What's that? The kid started it when you were 14. Kept track of everything I could sense. Oh my gosh. 
can't believe you did this. <laughs> Always on your side. Can we go? Daddy, your medicine's in the glove box. Yeah. Every four hours. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna call to remind you. We're gonna be fine. Don't tell me love is something you Welcome to New York. Again. You lived in all this for how long now? But baby, right now, maybe you what you need to Don't take that plea. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. It's an admission of guilt. I mean, I, I think I deserve to be punished. Maybe you do. Your dad doesn't. I don't. My kids don't. You understand? Yes. With the phone. Look, I know it's faith. What is it? Her dad has brain cancer. She asked me to get him into Dr. Gordon. I call Gordon, but I'm not exactly a guy people want to do favors for right now, you know? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Luke? Maria. How are things? Hey, good to see you. This is uh, my brother Jake. This is Maria. Maria! Hey. hey, have a seat right here. So, is this a party night for you boys? It is now. What are you drinking, Maria? Tequila. All right, tequila. Where's Sophia? Sophia! There she is. Three tequilas right here. Three of them. Do, do, do. Do, do. <laughs> My daddy actually likes show tunes. Well, you know what? I do. <laughs> Ooh, I still want to get one of those pretzels and a beer. These guys sell beer? No. Well, how much would they cost up here anyhow? About $100 a can. <laughs> oh, daddy, it's Livy. Tell her I died and see what she does. Stop it. Hey, sweetie. Daddy sleeping? Actually, no. He's choking on a flaming pretzel right now. What? No, um, we're fine. Um, we actually just got done singing some show tunes. What's up? Listen, the hospital just called the house. They can see Daddy. Did you hear me? Yeah, 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 I heard you. I'll, um, I'll call right away. Looks like your Yankee boy came through after all. All right. There How much do I owe you? My book. Come on, Daddy, let's take a seat. I'm tired. Yeah, well, you have to take your pill. Lord, it's starting to sound like Olivia. <laughs> Ooh. It's a nice thing Luke did.
kind of thing a man does when he loves somebody. What's that supposed to mean? What does it sound like? Here we are. It's a nice place. Listen, it was so great to see you. want me to run over there and forgive him for lying to me. No. I think you ought to talk to him. And say what? Well, that's between you and your husband. Well, I'm not going to leave you here. Honey, I might have a brain tumor, but I don't plan on dying tonight. Hey, you got tonight. You might not have tomorrow. Hi, Gary. I'll see you at 8 p.m. tomorrow. Hey. Give me that purse. Thanks. I'm such an idiot. You go home. No, I'm serious. You gotta go. Faith? Hey. No. No, no, no. It, it's not. Hey. Stop. Oh, open up. Faith? Wait. Let's not have this moment. Hey, nothing is happening. Nothing's going on up there. Just please come talk to her. I'm not talking to her ever again. Hey, I'm not with her. I've heard it all before, Luke. I'm not gonna hear it again. This marriage is over. No, 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 stop, 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 please. Thank you for helping my father. Get out. Oh, come on. I said, get out! I can see why you like coming here. Feels a little bit like home, doesn't it? I'm gonna get some coffee. Are you okay? Never been better.
You must be Luke. Please. Come in. Nice place. Thank you. Can I get you a drink? No, no, I'm, I'm good, thank you. You go ahead, though, help yourself. Uh, have a seat. I didn't come here to grill you. I want you to know that I never touched another woman. Not last night or ever. I was always faithful to your daughter. I don't want to talk about that. And I didn't commit fraud. I don't want to hear about what you didn't do. I want to hear about what you did do. Fair enough. When I took the job, I did not know that they were Ponzi. I mean, I heard rumors on the street that their earnings were bogus, but I didn't know. After I started working there for a while, making some serious money, I found out. But they didn't know that I knew. Most of us junior guys, we got fleeced for a major buy-in, and they kept us legit. I never had a client whose money went to that fund. Everything was always legal, and I went out of my way to make sure it stayed that way. But you knew, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't you take a plea deal and testify? My family has been a mainstay in this city for over 150 years. A plea is admitting wrongdoing. That taints my father, my brother, and, and any future care day that follows, including your future grandchildren. So you're willing to abandon my daughter to protect your family name? I'm doing the right thing here. Aw, oh, hell. Most of the wrong done in this world has been done by people who thought they were doing the right thing. You a religious man, Luke? I believe in God, sure. You think that God can redeem a man, if that man will let him? I do, sure. Good. Because I need it. I'm going to die. No, sir, you're going to get treatment. No, I'm not. No, sir. Mm -mm. I'll let you in on a little secret. It's just you and me. I didn't come up here to get any treatment for this cancer. I had a good run. I'm not going to let them fill me full of poison just so I can stick around for another month or two. Why are you here? Because my daughter has a husband. When I'm gone, she's going to need him. And I want to be there then for... Then be there. You and Faith both, you're, you're just the same. You're... you're just the same. You both of you runners. And you're never going to be able to make a family of your own if you keep running away from the ones you've already got. Look, I'm sorry. I never came down to Carolina to meet you. I'm not your family. You don't owe me anything, but Faith is. Just tell me where she is. That time will come. But before it does, there's something you need to figure out for yourself. You need to figure out why the music stopped. I'm not sure what that means. I know you're not. 
When you are, you get back to me. You understand this is immunity, but it's also an admission of guilt. I'm taking responsibility for what I did. Time to tell them what I know. Well, I want to be very clear about this point. Immunity keeps you out of prison, but you will be a felon. Are you absolutely sure this is what you want? There's no turning back. Yes. But are you sure? I stand by Luke. Very well, then. Sign here. Well, now that that's done, thank you for everything. Austin. Gates. I'm sorry for everything. Sorry, Dad. No. No place to go but forward, right? Dad. Hmm. Did you get Faith's dad that appointment? No. No, that was Jake. Our family, remember? Go.
But I think maybe I better quit hogging the dance floor with you like this. Are you tired? No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. But your husband's liable to get jealous if I don't let you dance with him. Thank you. You take care of her. Yes, sir. to dance in public. Not anymore. Why are you here? Because you're my wife. And I want you to come home. I can't leave here and go back to New York. I never said New York. I said come home. Wherever you are, Faith, that's my home. I want to come home. I love you. Won't you tell her, please, to put on some speed? Follow my lead. Oh, how I need someone. What's that? The music. What about it? There's a somebody I want It's ours. To see. I it never stops. Turns out to be some. Calvin was a man of few words, but he made him count. He's just one of those guys that got it right, wasn't he? And whenever you're with him, you knew exactly where you stood. And he always made you feel like he liked you. But more than anything, Calvin loved. Especially his girls. Silver's here. Yeah. He wanted to see you. He hasn't really uh, quite been the same since he left. He's been pretty lonely, so I'm uh, 
I'm thinking we should get him someone to play with. <laughs> I'm really glad you two are together again. I, uh... I wish that you could meet him. He's coming soon, you know, and, uh... We're gonna stay at the farm, so... I'm excited. We're gonna name him Calvin. Hi, Daddy. He said, I know I'm not the man that he imagined for his daughter. I'm not what he had in mind He said her daddy probably dreamed about some lawyer or a doctor But I never was that kind We were in love and that's all that matters You know her heart was all that I was after, he said. I'm a dandelion, she's a buttercup. I'm the clover, she's the love. She's a painted daisy, I'm the bluegrass underneath. She's all faith and I. She's the sweet and I'm the sour We're like weeds and wildflowers 